I'm a digital ambassador for Falmouth University. I'm on the second year of marine and natural history. And today I'm going to be showing you my day. Currently I'm just walking up to campus. I've got a video and film seminar uh, to start my day. And then, oh that's very boring. And then after that, may have a meeting about a group project. And other than that, we'll see what happens. Campus now. Just walked up from here, and I need to go up to the main Demoray building for my lecture. There are so many stairs on campus. So I'm all done now, uh, that was a good seminar, um, and what am I doing this afternoon? This is a question to myself. So I need to film a sequence for uh, a video project, um, and I'm going to base it around my dog because my dog's down for the weekend. That is what is going to happen this afternoon, roughly. Now I'm back at the house, um, I'm going to get rid of this camera and grab that one because it'll be so much better. So we've come to 411 uh, because it's very good for storm photos. Hopefully there might be some big waves, I don't know. Uh, sometimes it crashes over the clock tower over there, which is quite good, but I'll just show you on the map where we are. You can see there's Farmer up there, and we went along here. We just come down to the other side of the Lizard Peninsula, which is this whole area that sort of sticks out at the bottom of England. <laughs> So yeah, this is Port 11, there's the clock church tower that I was talking about. Uh, at high tide and on really windy days, I'll, try, I'll show a photo when we're walking back into town of what it can be like here. And I mean, it's known like nationwide as one of the best points to get good storm photos. Uh, generally, if you see one on BBC News or the weather and it's stormy, they've probably used one that's been taken here because it, it, it's just insane what it looks like. So we've just been on the beach for a little while. I've done uh, filming for a sequence uh, practical that I've got to hand in next week. Um, I'll put some clips in of what that is now. We're going to wander back to the town, have a cup of tea, um, just relax a bit for now and then we're going to go back to the car and head back because I've got to pick some kit up then I'm back out to take photos at the charity pool this evening. <laughs> Just getting stuff. I've picked all the stuff up, I forgot to film it. Um, yeah, so we've got tonight, I've got the Canon 60 Mark II, very nice camera. Um, I've also got the Canon 50mm uh, F2 1.2. Yeah, it, oh, it's such a, such a nice lens. Uh, and I also have a flash as well. So it's like, it's an event, so 
Um, I want to be make sure that it's got good light and stuff. So yes, should be good. One week later. So yeah, the last clip um, I just showed was of me about to go out and film and take photos at the charity event. Um, that was the last clip I shot that night. Um, it was very busy and uh, it was a Friday night so I came back and we went out because I was turning 21 the next day so that's last Saturday. It's now a week from when that last clip was shot. I'm now editing all of this on Premiere Pro. Um, it's taken a while to get it all done because I'm not used to using Premiere Pro, usually I use Final Cut, but I've started using Premiere Pro this week. But I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you enjoyed my day in life video and I'm sure you'll see more of me in the future.